Fishing Intelligence, a fishing improvement podcast for the modern angler. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another week of the Fishing Intelligence podcast. I'm Jacob Jasonic, and on this week, we're doing things a little bit different. A few days ago, I recorded a live podcast with Gene Jensen, aka the Fluke Master, Alex Rudd from Alex Rudd Fishing, and Scott from Snap Scott Photography. We were out on Lake Chickamauga doing a little bit of an angler content trip. I was showing them around the bullseye and some of the new web app features and how they can use those to better teach people how to fish. It was a live episode, so I'm going to play that for you guys now. It's about an hour long, and I hope you guys enjoy. It is working. Hey, we're only 30 minutes late. That's hey. fine. No, no, we said 7.30-ish. So to explain to you guys world, what just happened is we're using Google right. Hangouts, which is something I vowed never to use again because of the amount of issues I always have with it. And we're having them again. <laughs> but as you can see, Mr. Alex Rudd is hanging out with us. So, uh, see, and whenever time he makes a noise, his little his ugly face shows up on the screen. So hi. Don't fart. <laughs> Oh, 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 uh, we can back the computer up. Yeah, uh oh. What was that? That was a Christmas ad on your videos, is what that was. Oh, right on. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Alrighty. All right, Let's so see. thanks for you guys being patient with us. I know we're a bunch of technical idiots. Um, it is what it is, but right here I have Mr. Scott Butcher. What's going on, guys? The man, the man behind my mission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got Jacob from Angler. I never can pronounce his last name. Jasonic. Whatever. Yeah, it's like Sonic matter. with a J. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Jasonic. Jasonic. Sonic. Like that makes restaurant. me hungry. Jay makes Sonic. me want a freaking yeah. hamburger. Oh, man. And they got happy hour from two to four. Oh, full long chili cheeseburger. Oh, man. Chili, chili you can't cheese eat dogs? that. But I could eat yours with Yeah, them. I can't eat any of that anymore. With a chili cheese pup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's up, Sonic? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway. Sorry. We got on a tangent. We just got finished eating Chinese, so I'm pretty sure that'll uh, uh, pass through me by the middle of the night. Um, (laughs) (laughs) oh man so we got to the hotel room we're in chattanooga tennessee actually where are we at we're in hickson hickson tennessee which is close enough to chattanooga to be called chattanooga and uh and got here after eating the chinese and after fishing all day and and Scott clogged up the toilet here in Alex's or out in Jacob's room. We're making this live. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know as, what? As I was blowing up, I'm my, a grown man. I was blowing right? up the one in my room. Grown men do it. Grown men they got to do. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So the look on this kid's face though, when I was like, "We're gonna need a plunger," and he thought I was kidding. I didn't get to use my own bathroom. I'm like I gotta look different, you guys. You guys, everybody has their dang uh, uh, bullseye. The I got one upside down. I mean. I'm always on top. Gotta get that. So press yeah, that, I need the press action. What the what the oh. goal of this trip to Chattanooga is is to is is Jacob is here to teach me and teach Scott about how to use all the little details of the Angler app that I've talked about on the live Friday night lives for the last several weeks. Um, and what we did today is we went around and we tried to catch fish, um, and marked where we caught fish, marked where we saw bait. Uh, use just use the app like we'd normally use it. And now we're trying to figure out how to. Um, oh, you finally stopped. Your I finally stopped trip. my trip. My phone's been dead for six hours. Yeah, I don't want to go with that. I mean, there. but uh, oh so the goal is to for me to learn enough about this app to be able to use it in instructional videos and show you guys where I'm going on the lake, what's happening there, what the weather's like, um, what the water conditions are like, and that kind of thing. And a lot of this stuff is 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 coming in the next few weeks or months for me able to be able to do this but i want to be able to learn it first before everything else so the video i'm, I'm producing in the next and yesterday starting yesterday and today and tomorrow is basically a vlog video about how about our fishing trip it's not going to be about how to use the app it's basically you'll see um it's- and if you guys have seen the struggle that we've had to set this up tonight it's been the whole you understand why we're having to really kind of for us you've been using this you've been with the company and using this app and this technology for three years now and 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 not only that but but the the app is evolving it's changing regularly they're doing constantly doing updates and adding things and bringing things better we've sat down now since icast and talked about the mission of where you guys want to go with the app 
and it lines up perfectly with what Gene wants to do. Oh gosh, yeah. And and so and so it's this this is a learning curve for all of us. Yeah. Um, and much like this live broadcast is tonight, so that so that's what this trip has been about. It, yep. it, it's been about really getting um, you know getting us familiar with the app so that we don't sound like idiots whenever we're trying to teach people about how to use it because it is something that, that we believe in. Yeah, so. and, and what I'm excited about with it is that you guys will be able to, uh, I'm literally going to try to figure out how I can shoot a video and then go back and use the app uh, so you guys can be looking at the app and watching the video at the same time and see where I went and I can explain why. I can do a separate video on, on, on why I was there, why the fish were there, uh, use map reading, do all kinds of other stuff using the app, and you can guys can get a better picture of where I'm at and why I'm there, and like I said, why the fish are there, why the bait are there, and everything else. Ish. Like today, um, you'll see as we go, we're going to try to go through a little bit of it, but uh, as we go through it, you'll see that the fish are located in specific locations, and I'm going to explain why the fish were there, what was happening, and I figured all this out after I got off the lake and looked at all the different places I caught fish and where I saw bait fish and things like that. And I was like, that's what's going on. And I went and I checked the uh, the, the lake levels and sure enough, I was right. So uh, that's kind of the cool things that I'll be able to do if, via a video um, from here on out as soon as we get all this stuff figured out in my stupid head um, and his too. Um, and something that just came out today is our public profile. So as we're talking about our trips today, uh, you guys can actually see exactly where Gene went, exactly where I was, where Scott was. If you go to angler.com forward slash fluke master for him, life outdoors for me and Scott Butcher for, for Scott. So go to our personal links, you can pull yep. up the trips and then as we're talking through them, you guys will be able to see exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, that's one of the things you can do right now is, is go to angler.com slash fluke master and you can see that I, I made this uh, trip today public. And I'm going to start doing that with just about every trip except for the, well, I might even do the disasters. You know, what the heck? You learn something hey, from every well, trip. Well, uh, yeah, I you mean, know? it is what it is. You know, yep. we were talking about that when we were out today because today was a tough bite. Uh, guys, your internet is, like, really, really glitchy. So, like, everyone just missed totally what the whole, what you said about Angler. Oh, crap. Oh. Yeah, so I got people. I'm watching the the messages right now. So just kind of say what you said about angling, about how we all have public profiles and all that again, because it just totally messed up. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And that's because you're hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. 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 Well, well, we're using the, the computer, the, yeah, so the I computer. have to. Yeah. So we're on the ho hotel Wi-Fi, guys. So. Yeah. So if things are getting bad, let Alex yeah. know. So and we'll, we'll reset. So basically, go to what we're going to do today is we're going to go over uh, the trip that I we had today on Chickamauga, kind of get you guys a a sneak peek about what's going on and and how this is going to work out. And I've made we've all made our profiles and our trip today public. And you go to mine by going to angler.com slash fluke master and uh and you can pull that up and you can see the trip that we did today on chickamauga and see all six fish that i caught uh the one that scott caught on his on, on angler.com slash scott future i don't know two if you honest. guys can spell his last name and, <laughs> that's okay and the two that he lost today because he was using a pansy watt rod for these big bass in, in uh, Chattanooga. Yeah, he was I'm from, he, he I'm from Ohio, Northern Ohio, rod. so you know. Yeah, where the he where had the, a Yankee stick. Everybody yeah. that's on, so we're also <laughs> doing a uh, broadcast on the Facebook page for Angler, which is the connection's great over there. Not to try and poach your people, but yeah. So the just in case yeah. So really guys, out. if you're if you're having a hard time on YouTube, go to the Angler Facebook page, yep. and uh, and you can see us live there as well. And uh, you uh, Angler Facebook page. Introduction to the YouTube page, but yep. vice versa. Yep. Glad you can see each other. Yeah, for sure. So uh, getting out on the water this morning was uh, was quite interesting because Alex was getting ready. To, was actually here. We fished in the kayaks yesterday for a little for uh, for for a full day. Yep. Spent all day yesterday in the bona fides. Um, Tim Perkins came up. Uh, I think Alex got a full video out of that, didn't you, Alex? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm actually working on editing it right now, so I'll have it out so soon. That, so that'll be coming out for you guys to, to take a look at as well. But we fished yesterday in the in the kayaks. Um, I had dinner last night. Uh, Gene came up, and, and we were able to kind of get together. We hit the water. We're getting ready to hit the water hard this morning. Uh, uh, Alex, Alex, you want to you want to give them you want to give them the short version of, of what your morning was like? Yeah, sure. So I uh, I get in, get the boat cover off the boat, get rods out. 
out, get everything ready to go to the boat ramp and uh, get in my truck, turn it over. And when I do, uh, four low is flashing, my check engine light is flashing, and my anti-traction control light is flashing. And so I thought it was probably where the truck had set on a hill all night with the boat on the back of it. So I drop it down in a drive and pull out on the main road. And when I do, it is driving like it is in four wheel low. So it won't go over 30 miles an hour. Um, so me and Jacob pull into the Texas Roadhouse parking lot and start Googling away, trying to figure out what's up. And I call a mechanic buddy of mine and uh, he pretty much says, you know, try to get into the nearest Toyota dealership. And so Jacob gets behind me on the interstate and I get on the interstate pulling a 21 foot skeeter and put my flashers on and drive 30 all the way up the interstate to the nearest Toyota dealership and go in there and they put it on the computer and seen that it was a, some type of air sensor. And luckily it was under warranty. So my truck is in Cleveland, Tennessee. I'm gonna have to drive an hour and a half to get it in the morning, but it was under warranty. It's being fixed. It's done. So. Luckily, that is, that is the upside to the whole day right there. Well, hey, I got a suggestion. Since you're saving that money with your truck being uh, being under warranty, I really feel like you should buy some real pants. Yeah, yeah, probably. I own <laughs> pants. It's not very fair. <laughs> but that's, that's just part of like a, a day of fishing. You know, you're going to have some crazy thing happen. It's never going to go the way you want it to go. Yep. So anyway, so we got out on the water this morning. Uh, so get some good friends of mine and Jean's. Uh, John Cox uh, came up to, to fish with us. Um, he's an angler. He's, he's fishing the Coastal Series coming up this next year. Um, and his daughter Taylor Cox is, is, is one of, the, one of the, the, the Fluke Master fans that you popped in on earlier in the year in another video. You guys can find that one or seen that one. Woke her up in her bed in the morning. Yeah. Um, but uh, so uh, we fished with them today. So we were able to get out with them. Alex came out and jumped in the boat with us a little bit before lunchtime. And uh, it, uh, we, we were able to get some good footage. We were, we, for Gene and I, we were able to spend some time inside the app, learning some of the ins and outs, um, you know, setting some waypoints, um, some of the stuff with the, uh, you know, differentiating, you know, setting grass areas and rock piles and stumps and, and different things like that that you can do um, was, uh, you know, was, was something I learned. Um, and, uh, I you know, and catching, you know, catching some of the fish, setting up the waypoints. <laughs> how to catch the fish. Is... Yeah, how to catch the fish is, 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 yeah. That's a key. That's my that's, specialty. That's a key. How to set the hook. <laughs> There's a, do we have that video? You should watch it. Man, I set the hook. It's just. That, that, was, the I Yankee was rod the wasn't, yeah. yeah, the Yankee rod wasn't doing it. I'm sure that somebody's giving me hate in the, in the angler comments section because some of my buddies are watching right now. Yeah, because he set the hook today about four times, just never into a fish. I set. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I had one on for a little while. He popped off, but yeah, yeah. somebody said a uh, sub team Westbrook Supply Co. That's right, Anthony Rodell right there. He's a fellow Westbrook Supply Co. member with Gene and I. So yeah, yeah. that's Anthony there. Oh, Mike asked what rod I lost that fish on. Uh, it was on the Vexen rod, but it was a spinning rod, and I really shouldn't have been throwing spinning gear. But I don't even own a spinning rod, like, at all. Like, I don't own a spinning rod. <laughs> Mike knows that. I've got 100. Uh, there's probably, what, 25 <laughs> rods in my, in my garage? <laughs> no, none of the, none, there's not a single spinning rod. It's crazy. Anyway. It's the difference. It's the difference of fishing up north and, yeah. and, and, and yeah. down south. And he does not use a spinning rod anyway. So, who? I mean, I can't. I, well, yeah, you're right. I probably couldn't. No, we don't. <laughs> All right, so can we dive into this app a little bit? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, let's, uh, since we got your phone working. Yeah, right. Since my phone's let's working. Through what's going on. Man. Um, well, no, this is on mine. You want to pull up jeans, or you want to go to my profile? Um, we can go. We can pull up mine here. Yeah, Gene, oh yeah, Gene's got his phone there too. Let me pull up mine. Too. All right, so hey, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, pull up one of these guys. We want to show y'all some of this. Wait, Alex is saying something. So screen share on this Hangout and show the actual page, like if you pull it up on the internet. I, I don't know how much it'll affect your internet, but I'm just know you can do screw that. It up. Uh, I mean, I have it pulled up right now. Maybe that's why it's so bad. But yeah, it's, let me pull mine up. Oh, um, how do I? Could we, could we see what people say about it? See if it works at all, or we can also go on if you can get your Bluetooth or get your uh, you can um, use my phone as a hotspot. Oh, if you want to? Yeah, I mean that would be. It's gonna, if you're it's gonna shut that, it down whenever. Oh, to cut, to yeah, cut over. To cut yeah, over. it is, isn't it? Phew. Should have thought of that earlier. Oh, well. Yep. Hey, can you see my screen? Are you guys seeing my screen right now? Yep. Yep. There you go. All right, hold on just one second. There you go. I'll man. go. go. Who do you want to go to? Uh, go to go to mine. I, I've yeah. marked a lot of spots on mine. Yeah, his looks prettier yeah. than mine. You're going to give away. Yeah, his looks 
Alex, I'll text you a password. Hang on. Uh, well, he's going. He's going to the public page. Oh, okay. There you which go. Which is perfect. I'm just, we'll be able to... All right, guys. So if you uh, if you were to Google English um, slash Life Outdoors, Alex Revision, Blue Mask, Scott, is, you have a live one too. Correct. But so it's Scott, his name that nobody can spell. Butcher, it's the name that nobody can spell or Scott say. Butcher. <laughs> Let me clear this up. Yeah. So if you were to um, pull that up, you guys are going to see something very similar to what I have pulled up here. And uh, Jacob, you kind of want to walk them through this and just I'll scroll up and down and do do as I need to as you talk. How about that? The only problem is as I'm talking, it's going to switch to our no, faces. Not. Right? I clicked it to the yeah, Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. We're good. All right, so um, if you go to my trips, so this is my this is my public profile that anybody on here can go to. Um, let's see, go to fishing with Gene Jensen. Like I'm special or something. I got to I got to sit in your boat today. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I vlogged it. I was like, never thought I'd be sitting in this boat. So it's pretty wild. Um, and then if you zoom in on the map there, we can uh, kind of run people through how the day went so uh, i don't know do you want to talk them through how what you guys were doing before i got there yep yep go up a little bit here yep yeah zoom in in one of those pockets. so you see this little red arrow down over this little red one right here and it just went away yeah flip that over for these guys it's gonna be south it's gonna be right there on uh on sail creek boat ramp is what i'm trying to point out Actually, yeah, that's the boat the ramp we put in on it. It's actually got a, a, a marker for the, and that's what the marker okay. looks like for yeah. wherever you enter the lake. So you can always get back if you get lost or whatever else. All right. So go out on main lake, Alex, and go to that pocket. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to hit uh, replay. Yep. And so that'll let you see, it'll start marking them there. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. you can see Gene's path here. Yep. Now, so this is when I got in the yeah, boat. Yeah, this is after he got in the boat. You can actually see the path in which we traveled. So he didn't show up until 12 because your truck broke down. Oh, <laughs> facts. But this pocket right here, I caught four in that, see that little, um, little yellow mark? Yep, right there. With the, see the honey hole mark that's got the three little dots on it? Dean, you're breaking, breaking up real bad, oh. buddy. I can't hear you. You see those the three little dots? Uh, the, the marker with the three little dots on it. Yeah, that one right there. Yep, that's the honey hole. And I caught four, or yeah, I caught three or four in the back of that little pocket. Now, the fish were centered in the back of the deep spot in that pocket. Okay, you can see where there's grass. You see there's grass all the way around there. That's where they were bunching those shad. The, but they were bunching the shad up in that deep hole. Okay, and so I caught three and five casts with a fluke. And then I caught another one on a uh, Alabama rig. No, I caught five in the back end. No? Yeah, that, that, that's where we came up and-, and Yeah, I must have forgotten the to mark one because I caught a couple more after that. Yeah. Anyway, so um, anyway, so a fluke was mainly the, the thing they were hitting, but they were in shallow water, but they're in that deep hole. Now, if you pull back out to the main lake, you don't have to zoom out. You can just kind of slide to that. That little dot right there is where I caught my first fish of the day. And that was on a transition spot. It was from where where the rock went from small rock to large rock. Okay, and I also caught that one on a fluke. Um, and I was still hadn't put the puzzle together. Okay, so then I went and picked up uh, Jacob. And we ran up and, and ran up into the very next pocket or the next big pocket to see if the pattern held true and it didn't. That pocket was a little bit different, it was real shallow. So we came all the way down here to Eldred Slough, and this is where we ended our day, uh, pretty much. But uh, went back in this little pocket down in Murphy Slough, which is down on the south end, and uh, didn't catch anything. There was no bait fish back there, and that's kind of where I figured there would be, but so it didn't match the other one. Well, now, we had noticed there, too, Gene. Remember, that water back in that corner was so much darker yep. than the totally water that we had been color. earlier. Yeah, I mean, totally different, different, color. different color. It was like a gray yeah. color. Was, yep. And I, when I see something I've, I hardly ever, or have never seen before, or hardly ever see, it just completely, I'm just like, I don't even want to fish here. So well, we, Even yesterday, uh, Alex, and to bring you in a little bit, I mean, yeah. we were noticing some yesterday with the, with talking about some of the pH in the water, 
and I don't want to get too scientific into that now, but the pH yesterday in the water, you could tell that the water yesterday when we were up in the up in the up in the creek yep. in the kayaks, the water was just a completely different color and and just almost a different texture, if that makes sense, to the water than what there than what there was further yeah. down that we've seen today. And the water temperature was fifty five degrees. There's a lot of people asking that. So, um, so we went back out, go up a little bit, Alex, go to the mouth of the creek. And uh, can you hear me, Alex? Alex. Uh, Boom. He's going to log back in. He's logging back in. He's going to log back in. We'll give him a second. (laughs) Everybody else still there? Because we're still broadcasting. I'm actually... Yeah, we're still also... We lost all audio. Guys on the Facebook channel here, we're still running this off of the. Uh, let me flip this back around. Uh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice. I don't know what just happened. Yep. Screen share all that again. Okay. So, Scott, last thing I heard was something. You said something to me, and then it was I didn't hear anything. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, the 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 difference in the water. Uh, talking about some of the pH. We're not going to get into that too deep. But talking yeah. about the differences in the water, because even yesterday when we went back up into the creek channels in the kayaks, you could tell that there was there was a, it was a different color and and I don't texture is probably not the right word, but but if you're out on the water a lot, you understand what I mean by that. There was a there was a different texture to the water. It was just uh, weird. Yeah, it was it's, it's I don't want to talk about the thickness of water, but you get what I mean. Yeah. In that murky, dingy type of water, and yesterday way up in the cre- in the creeks, we didn't it, I mean we didn't have that. We had that real real green. You know, uh, uh, a type of water, you know, almost crystal clear, but it, but in a green water. Yep. Yeah. And, and I remember uh, Alex was talking about how he was thinking there was some sort of pH imbalance. Yeah. yeah, it almost was like a pH weirdness, you know. Yeah. But uh, uh, Mark Cantrell, the water temperature was 55 most of the day. It fluctuated. It was, it was 50 in the morning, but by the time we started catching fish, it was about 55, and it got up into 60. So what did you do, Alex? You messing stuff up? <laughs> I said, "What are you doing? Messing stuff up?" Yes, yes. I don't know what I'm doing. Hi. All right. we, okay, I see you. We're back here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> zoom in, or get it, make it full screen and zoom in. Yeah. All right. So we pull back out of this pocket. Now you see me doing all these little donuts and going back and forth. Well, uh, Scott was trying to get a drone shot of me and couldn't get the drone to work. Uh, he finally got it to work. So you see wow, me going. Throw Scott under the bus. Yeah, right? I threw him under the bus. But anyway, so we started zigzag, <laughs> zigzagging around out there. But you see, you were right there. See that pocket right there, just to the north of your hand, or the mark, or whatever they call it, stupid thing? Yes. Yep, that little uh, pocket right there. Um, I got bit right in the mouth of it. And it was on the outside, uh, on kind of an um, internal grass line. So you had the inside grass line. You had a little cut that was in between that gat grass line where that green dot is. And then you had the outside grass line. And they were again in a hole, in a deep spot, in between the grass. And I got bit, but I, I literally I set the hook on the chatterbait, and all I got was my chatterbait. It took my trailer off. Um, and so we we milled around that whole pocket and came back out. And uh, Jacob got bit and lost a fish because he was using a spinner rod. Um, <laughs> and he lost another fish just a little further down that orange mark that's right there. Right as we started catch, or losing these fish, also the weather was changing. Yeah, completely. It started, the clouds moved in, the wind started, it was yep. blowing a little bit harder, and the rain started. So the weather completely changed. Um, so we worked our way around, went around this long point, came around the other side, and it was real shallow where he marked that one little green dot. But right there where that camera is there and there I caught a fish right there about a two and a half pounder not a bad fish for right there it was outside grass and uh, that was my last fish for the day did and you I, take a picture of that fish Gene uh, you we can click on it in the yeah map you click on it pull up or, yeah. or just scroll down and yeah scroll down and show them some of the photos from the day they can yeah. get an idea of what the weather was looking like now I caught that one on a chatterbait in the outside grass the deeper grass and so putting all of this together about dinner time of course it always happens after you get out of get off the lake i'm like the lake must the lake levels must have been falling today because there no none of the fish were super shallow they were in three to four foot of water but they were not super shallow they weren't on that inside grass line where i would expect them to be when the water when it's got high water 
Um, and so they had all pulled out to the outside grass line and into deeper holes to where if that water keeps falling, they can pull out further and they just have to, they don't want to get trapped up in the shallow water. So if you've got falling water, and I went and I checked the lake levels on the T, uh, TVA app, and of course, the water had been falling all day. And, uh, and it doesn't have to fall fast, it doesn't have to fall a lot to scare the crap out of them, and they just pull out to that deeper cover. So I hope my audio is still working. I just turned my phone off, so. But, uh, cool. But uh, anyway, so I, we pulled out. So the fish were all on outside grass lines. Now, if we'd have had two more hours to fish, um, I would have grabbed that chatterbait and I would have literally fished nothing but deeper grass. So tomorrow as we go out, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and we're gonna fish the mouths of these pockets and these creeks, mainly the pockets. And we're going to uh, we're going to fish that outside grass line. We're going to fish a little bit deeper, maybe four to eight feet of water, maybe eight to ten feet of water, and see if we catch fish. I'm not looking for monsters. I know Jacob wants to catch a ten pounder. I'm not the guy, but uh, <laughs> we're everybody definitely, wants to catch a I'm ten just, pounder. You know, at this point, it's like I'm just trying to catch a <laughs> catch a damn fish out of here. I drove. I'm going to give Jacob. Hours. I'm going to give Jacob one of my meat sticks and let him yeah, go fishing. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely not going to be throwing a spinning rod tomorrow. Going to make that adjustment. That was. Yep. My, my mistake for the day. But. So that, that's the kind of things that I I use the app to learn. Okay, and now the cool thing is, is all that stuff stays on my phone. In a year, I can look at it again and I can, it'll help me remember when I'm, a, I have a horrible memory. It'll help me to remember, you know how many Texas rig videos I've done because I thought I've only done two? I think I've done six. Well, that's about um, six online. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, definitely, um, See, he's already forgetting things now. Like Sorry. The thing he's going to say. Butterflies. Um, <laughs> Millennials. But I, 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 de I want to be able to go back and look at past deals and say, okay, the weather conditions were like this. What did what happened? Where did I make my mistakes? And where did I, where did I, I succeed? You know, that kind of stuff. What do you think, Alex? I feel like I'm leaving you out. Oh, agree you with everything. There you can go. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I said, yes, I agree with everything that you said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I really wish I could have been on the lake today. Um, it was yeah. cool, though. So I think I think this is going to be a cool perspective for me because I didn't get to go out with you guys today just to be able to see kind of what your mindset was and, what you and kind of look at that map just to watch you guys to see the decisions that you made. You yeah. know what I mean? And I do definitely agree with Gene. Yesterday, I told you guys, you know, when we were kayak fishing, I said if they if they drop the lake levels because we had a little bit of a water line. Yeah. And you know, like Gene said, a lot of the times those fish, you know, they're not wanting to get caught, especially when you're in that shallow water. And what they'll do is they'll pull off, they'll get on those grass edges, they'll get on those drops, and that's where they kind of want to hang out. And I really truly believe yesterday. Um, I just know from the two fish that I caught, um, one of them, you know, towards the middle of the day as the water started dropping, it pulled up on a bluff wall, which is the easiest place for that fish to be when that water level is fluctuating like that because they can move vertically and not have to move, or they can move horizontally and not vertically. So, right. No, vertically, not horizontally. You know what I'm trying to, up and down, not left and right. That's there what I'm go. trying that, to say. Yeah, you don't have to be <laughs> technically exact on this thing. That's exactly, and a lot of you guys that are watching, you're going to hear me say this multiple times. I really think this app will work really, really good for bank fishermen because what I used to do back in the day is I would draw a paper map of the lake I was fishing, and I would keep marks on. I, I keep that map folded up in inside my tackle box, and I and when I go to the lake, I would mark everywhere I caught a fish, and I would do that every time I went fishing, and eventually I would find the hot spots on that lake where I could literally almost go every day and catch a fish on those spots. And it was it was just one of those key spots on the lake. And, and it just makes it 10 times easier to be able to have it on your phone these days. So yeah, guys, from, from, from a novice, because that's what I am, I'm, I'm, I'm a novice uh, angler. And, and so for me, what I love about it is that I'm, I'm gonna, not that I'm, I, I love this app because not, not, you folks are not gonna be going out and wanting to look and see where I'm not catching fish, but for me, uh, to be able to create my log book and be able to set up, this is what I was using and taking what I'm learning from watching, you know, Alex's videos and Gene's videos and, and you know, and, and watching these other guys in, this, in the industry and, and for me learning to fish in this industry, to be able to go in and use the app and, and to be able to, to set up and, and record your own history of what you were doing to learn more yourself and to actually take 
what you're learning from these guys like Alex and Gene and from watching their channels, but really see how it's a, how it's really working on, on my local, you know, on the water that I'm fishing and what I'm doing it as. And the thing that we have going on now with the, with the app is MapView. And so what MapView is, is you can go in, you don't have to be in a specific trip. You can just be in the broad map. So you can go in, mark points before you go to the water, say, hey, this, this log jam looks good here, or this break in the current looks good. And so also in that, you can stack previous trips. So like you were yeah. saying, you write on the same map where you caught fish. Now it's all logged in your phone. So, so we come you back can, to the same creek. We can take and stack these maps. You can see maps. multiple different trips on oh, the same man. time. That's, so you can see exactly where you were catching these Yeah, that's money right fish. there. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's phenomenal. So, Super you know, I, I see a lot of guys over here, you know, like in the chat and they're, and they're asking about, you know, if you have any tips, I'm a new fisherman and, um, you know, if you have any tips for this area and even like a lot of comments that I get are about, hey, do you have certain tips for certain places? This app and the ability that we have with this app is pretty much a comprehensive place that we can go give you that kind of information yep. because when you have a map and you have weather conditions and you can add water conditions and you can add baits and then you can go back and you can see what time of year that something was going on, that literally is the most comprehensive way other than you going fishing with us that we can show you exactly what we're fishing. And, you know, I made the comment today, it's almost like a guide trip without actually going out yeah. with the guy and going fishing. Yeah, well, Gene, and, get, Gene I, get, I get inboxes uh, 20 or 30 a day about how can I go fish with Gene? How can I go fish with Gene? And with this, you can literally get in the boat through, you know what I mean, through your phone and be right there with us. Yep. You know, if you if, if you see that we were at Chickamauga this week and you're off this Saturday, you can go in and if we had a great day, you can go in and literally put in where we put in at and at every single point that we hit because we're marking them. Yep. And for those of you who are hopping on now, um, Gene's going to share his link on the comment section there for yep. how you can get to his profile. So it's just angler.com slash Lukemaster. Yep. And that's the map that we were just talking about a little bit ago for those of you who missed that in the uh, the struggles of our of our live session here. What do we got here? Mike's asking if we tried spoons at all. No, yeah. they weren't that deep. Yeah, we no, weren't we weren't fishing deep at all, so no no spoon fishing was going on. I think the I think the the, the deepest that, that we saw stuff on screens was probably twenty that twenty feet range was probably as deep as we saw them moving around. Yep. So we were talking about that was probably some smallies that they were catching in the you know, they were catching the tournament earlier yep. uh, yep. on Saturday. I the, might go at least try some of those. The Tennessee the Tennessee Valley Kayak Anglers had uh, had a tournament Saturday. And, uh, and uh, would you say they were catching 20 Yeah, inch, the winners were catching big smallies inch. in about uh, 18 to 20 feet of water. So, yeah, yeah, I wanted to go fish for those. I might try that tomorrow with a drop shot and a Ned rig. Yeah, we're going back out tomorrow. We're going to be hopping in his boat and yeah. trying to trying to tear him up. And if we're doing drop shots and Ned rigs, you know what that means. I get to fish my spinning rod. I'm going to throw that thing in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, it's a we... noodle too, man. It's not like it's a stiff rod. He sets the hook and he just about freaking it, the, the the tip stays <laughs> still. The boat with me this morning. I just had to look at it. And I was like, I was thinking, what does he catch? Trout and bluegills on that thing? I thought I he sets up a six pounder. He hits over. himself in the butt but, on know. the back cast. I mean, just <laughs> he hits himself in the butt. like a bull whip. <laughs> Oh, we both hit each other with. Some but you know, of one of my personal bests at nine nine eight that I caught out of the grass back in uh, oh my gosh oh six now, I caught it on a noodle rod, man. Oh six, that's twelve years eight ago. Eight That's the first time I ever used cigar fluorocarbon, and and because I, it was eight pound test, I caught this nine nine eight out of the grass, and it did not break. And I'm like, that's it. I'm gonna use cigar the rest <laughs> of my life. <laughs> man. Let's see here. What do we got going on in the comments? Throw a stupid rig tube in that grass tomorrow, Gene. I might have to do that. I got some original slot set up with that. So we've been sh we've been throwing that rig before they named it. The stupid, mm -hmm. stupid tube. Oh, um, I feel like I've heard that one. Uh, let's let's. Anything interesting? I didn't know Sean White started fishing. <laughs> hey, I don't have red hair. <laughs> what, what did that girl call him last night? <laughs> okay, so I get tagged. We went to dinner last night. I got tagged by Scott with with Scott and Gene in a dinner picture. 
And I think within three we were minutes, all, yeah, we were somebody all, commented, one of his friends commented, <laughs> why does the guy look talking like about the Jacob Twilight looks like Jacob from Twilight. And if you're familiar because you're a younger <laughs> fan, then you get what we mean by this Jacob looks just like that Jacob. If not, then somewhere in these comments later, I'll merge a picture of them to that side by side and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> yep. Um, I tell you what, uh, Alex, pull up, uh, pull up my, um, uh, profile and cause I set a couple of waypoints for some of the spots that we hit today and, and let's kind of walk th and, and let's kind of run through that. Uh, some of the guys uh, we're talking about wanted to see more of how that works. So let's run through this one more time and while we got a good streaming and see if we can kind of walk us and see if we can kind of let everybody walk us through that. Um, for the Facebook audience guys, I'm going to flip y'all around so y'all can watch the screen here. So y'all are still with us there. All right, here we go. Let's see if you get your name right. That's right. Yeah, well, my, my name's Tricky. B-E-U-T-J-E-R. That's right. Wow. I still can't spell it. What now? B-E-U-T-J-E-R. B-E-U-T-J-E-R. T-J-E-R. Okay. Oh, T -J -E -R. T -T Hold on. T-J-E-R. Yep, that's it. Beautiful. There it is. Yeah, isn't that a cool uh, picture of him? Look so we want to go to my trips? Look at that yeah. kayak, man. That's a good-looking kayak right there. <laughs> One. Uh, uh yes, day no, was it no, it was day two. That was wasn't that the kayak trip right there? Yeah, that's the Oh one. yeah, well, day yeah. two you just you just ended it. You gotta show yeah. that to your brother. Oh yeah. yeah. You gotta go share uh, public. Okay, hang on, wait, my phone's back. I can do that. We can uh Hey, so how about we go you, you wanna go that. to your profile, Alex, and we can I can run you through the new map view deal since you weren't here to here to see it. You wanna pull up uh just your regular profile? Sure. So, like this one or just my regular one? Um, if you want to sign into your actual web app profile, and we can go to the, uh, we can go to the web app and just kind of. Scott could even mark up his points in there. Oh, I uh, and and David Wilbur um asked a question real quick, and I'll go ahead and answer it since you guys are screwing around. Uh, hey, do you recommend any of the Cabela's rods personally? I for a big for a first bait caster, I recommend any of the Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's combos that you can afford. Yeah, the it's bass. a good one to start with to learn with because you're not out a whole lot of money if you hate it. Um, and just and then I and then I you know use it use it until it breaks, but it'd be yep. saving up enough yep. money for another one. That's how what I did, and I never regretted it. So that's what I would do. All right, so I'm on my profile, my man. Sweet. All righty. So if you go to ex go to that explorer on the top there. Mm hmm I'm just one second. Yes. And go to map view. Mm hmm So this is this is kind of the new this is the new deal that we're working on that we just revamped completely. So what you're gonna be what you're able to do now is go to you can go to historic waypoints, toggle on different trips that you've already done. So that's how you guys can stack your trip, multiple trips from the same place. Um, but if you just zoom in to say Chickamauga or um, some lake, you can all, you can uh, drop some points in there, talk about things that were interesting to you. So if we go in, if you want to zoom into Chickamauga. Yeah, or zoom into something. I'll zoom in. Uh, let's go, we'll just go, I think this one's Loudon. Yeah, let's go to Loudon here. I got one right here. Okay, sweet. Okay. So what you can do now is you can add. Yeah, let's. Uh, you go, go ahead. Go ahead. You can add in points without actually opening up a trip. So if you go, pick a pick a couple of spots that look good and add some add some points. So if you see some logs or something, you can mark mark structure. Or if you see, you can see any. You're not going to see any grass on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here's a good one. So I know this is actually you can kind of see it. We can't get zoomed in on it, but that is actually a big pile of rocks right there. Yep. So this is a mud bank that has timber on it all the way to this point. And then these people at this airport, for some reason, have dumped a bunch of boulders and rocks in here. So we can go there and add, we'll hit the plus symbol and we'll add. And then just drag it over. Where's some rocks at? Right above shell. Where's that one? Right, right there. there. You right got there. it. it says rock, R-O-C-K. 
R O C K. Is that how we spell it? I'm sorry. I'm such a smart. I'm smart. I'm such a smart butt. Sorry. There is some rocks. Um, then we can actually go right here as well. So here's the actual fish catch. Um, this fish just pulled up on this main lake point, but then right here, I know for a fact there are a couple brush piles. So we'll go in there and we'll add yeah, two structure cool. marks as well so that I can have those saved. So there you go. And then what we've got now going on is you can select all three of those. And so click on build pack. So click on what? Down on the bottom. Down so in the bottom middle. Build pack. Build pack. Um, so X out of that and then select those three waypoints. I thought you already had them selected. Sorry. Scott, I'm going to get to your question in just a second. We see it. I'm going to get to your question. I'm going to let Alex or, answer so, it. so click on, or stay on that page, yep, and then click on those three points that you just made, and you can actually build a build a pack and name it up for for future reference. So if it's like spots you want to hit, you can call that, you can call whatever suits your fancy. Fire spots. <laughs> All right, Jacob. So we've got a guy here asking, says he's tried to build a map pack on his iPad Pro today, and it wouldn't let him drop any waypoints. Is Right now, is it only set up for laptop and desktop? So I think right now for the release, it's optimized for um, desktop, but that should be, I mean, within. It, like days, like we said earlier, guys, uh, you know, the Angler app is, is still is still is still growing. They're still learning and adding multiple things. Um, you know, we've we're behind the scenes. We've had a bunch of different conversations about the direction of where they're going and what they're doing, um, which is why we're all, you know, myself and Gene and Alex and all of us are here now is is working on some different things to get this where we want it all to be ultimately. Um, but yeah, so for right now, uh, like you said, it, it's optimized for it to work best uh, for you to come back in after the trip and go in and drop those waypoints and add, and, you know, add the brush piles like you just saw Alex doing, um, you know, and, and adding the rocks and adding some of those finer details. Um, that stuff's coming in the app, but right now it's something that, 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 uh, that there were, that's best used um, from, your, from your home computer. Now, Mark, Mark Cantrell asked, do you guys use the tracker uh, thinking of getting a bullseye, but don't know how the how the tracker works. So, so the, the tracker good. is basically the it's the rod mount device. Correct. I don't have any of my rods in here right now, but um, the way the tracker works is it's mounted onto your rod. You pair it up with your phone before you start fishing, and then as you're casting, it's going to keep a cast count. It's also going to be doing it's going to be running with the Angler app, so you're getting weather data, water data during the time that you're fishing. So it's basically, it's doing the same thing as the bullseye, but it's adding on your cast count. So if that's something that you're interested in, either if you're doing friendly competitions with trying to see who does best cast to count wise or, or catch to count wise, but it's, um, the bullseye is really the super key tool. Cause it's just, I mean, there it is right there. Super simple. You catch a fish, click that button once, it pulls up a camera in the phone, in your app and uh, snap a picture get and, fish back in the water. and look guys I want to be clear too just because you know uh, Gene for a long time and, and the long time Gene, Gene fans completely understand that that this isn't us just trying to sell you guys this bullseye nope. and the anger guys the will tell free. you his way the <laughs> app is absolutely yeah. free guys if, if you guys aren't yet sold or, or have questions or do just like we did. We were we downloaded that after iCast, and we didn't get bullseyes for I think two or three months. Yeah. And then I we mean, had our, the bullseyes yeah. for two or three months. And, Sydney, the and so, and it was one of those things to where download the app. It there there is some there is some learning. It is new. It is software. You're gonna it's, it's gonna be just like any other program that you got to go in and learn. You're gonna have to spend some time with it. There's a ton of resources online. Give them drop the some of the resources online and some of the you guys have got some killer stuff blogs yeah. so if you go to um, angler.com there's a fishing um, intelligence area or our, it's called the community tab we've got a bunch of blogs uh, Derek at anglers running that page doing a great job keeping content fresh. Alex can we run through that real quick let's go to angler.com yeah, and show yeah, them actually... and, and let's show them that let's show them some of that some of that uh, some of the resources that they've put together um, uh, uh, I did the Yak Attack um, team member Instagram takeover, and y'all shared the y'all gave me the hundred kayak tips. Yeah, that yep. was a that was a blog that you guys had posted on the page, and I hadn't seen it before. And y'all had guys like Dave Lafibra and a bunch of other you know uh, you know Perkins, yeah, yep. Tim Perkins, Dave Lafibra. Um, who's Dave uh, uh, Yeah, who's Dave Lafibra? Yeah, if you're in, if you're watching this and you don't know who Dave Lafibra is, guys, y'all need to go find. Y'all need to go do some, do some googling. Never heard of her. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Never heard of her. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. Flip I'll this. be getting a text from him. Yeah, you'll be getting a text in just a minute. So, guys, we're gonna flip this around, and I want. I just want to show you guys a little bit 
uh, because, like I said, this isn't a this isn't a sales pitch for the uh, for the bullseye. Um, this this app right now is completely free. Go in and download it on your on your Android and or iPhone. But walk through right here, like I said, um, uh, show us some of the community and stuff, Alex, and, and, I'll let, and we'll let you and Jacob kind of walk us through the site. Yeah, so the first thing we got going Blow on... this up on the full screen. Um, I think it is. It is on. It's, I, that would be Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. To, yeah, we're good. But, so the first deal we got going on is like, we got the um, the angler experts. So that's, that's these guys here. Yeah. I'm one of the experts. They're experts. Our profiles are considered expert profiles in the app so we're going to be the ones that are sharing hey, a lot of our Alex's. trips i'm not on yeah, there yet. alex you're uh your profile's top corner man yeah, but I'm these, not are on some there of, yet. these are some <laughs> of the guys that we're working with who are creating content for us and um keeping things fresh in our blog posts so let's see here oh there's there's uh dave yeah, you there's better, dave you need a better picture of him so let's uh, let's show them some of the blog posts. We can go up to the go to the um, the Fishing resource center. Yeah, third one down, resource center. Oh. Wrong. You good? No, resource center. Try it again. Oh, sorry, I, I lost y'all again. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So this is where we've got our, our massive pages. So if like there's a big document that you guys want to take some time to read through, it's this is the page for it. We've got our, our kayak tips, over 100 kayak tips from some big names. That's what Scott was talking about. College Fishing 101, if you guys are interested in getting into college fishing, that's, uh, we talk about, we got a bunch of college guys that worked on that. I was one of them. There's old Timmy. Yeah. Yeah, it's Tim Perkins. That's who they fished with yesterday. Tim was a man. Yeah, yep. he's, he's a cool guy. So this page, yeah, this is this is awesome for those guys who are looking, are either high school or early in college, and are looking to get into competition bass fishing There's at the tons, level. Tons of good information, guys. Let me flip this camera back around. I, I want you to walk them through um, a little bit about if you're not, if you don't have the bullseye, or you're just ordering the bullseye, how can they go and get started with just the app? So, I mean, the app is, it's completely free to download. It's all you got to do is go to the, go to the app store, type in Angler, download it and create an account. Totally free. Um, you can start a trip in the app. You can basically do anything that you need to without the bullseye. The bullseye is just the app. It's convenience. Simplicity. The, the, the bullseye guys is convenience. We're yeah. still setting up when we go, when we get to the boat ramp in the mornings, we're setting up where we're at. We're setting up our, our rod locker and, and what else is it? Cause it's not a rod locker. Y'all caught something else in the app um it's tackle uh, box. the tackle yeah. box where you can yeah. set up your rods and your reels and i mean you can get down very detailed into, into showing exactly what you know what if you're showing a, a seven six uh you know medium heavy fast you can put that in the, in the system and if you're throwing you know f you know 25 pound fluorocarbon um cigar on it you can put that in there as well um and so you can you can really dial in exactly yeah, you what you're doing you get, you it, it, exactly and so and the difference is is if you don't have the bullseye that we're all wearing on our hats now is that when you catch a fish, you just have to open up and go into the going into the app and set and set your catch or set your waypoints there. Um, uh, the uh, the the angler company is not built around this button that's on, that's on top of our head, this bullseye. That's not what the angler company is. The angler company is an intelligent software company that is uh, that that's that's building uh, building and teaching uh, people how to be better anglers and and how to do more and how to log their trips without you know your you know if you're if you're one of these guys. Like like Alex, who grew up with his dad on the boat, um, you know there. You know, uh, I'm sure Alex, your dad carried you know a, a pad and paper, right? And, and oh yeah, and, man. and wrote like, everything down. I, I still carried a pad and paper until stuff like this started to come around. And like I can remember, you know, having like old notebooks that were all you know the colors were bleeding on them because they got wet and stuff. Where you know we would be writing down you know fish catches, water conditions, baits that we were throwing, and even you know, still today, I mean, like me and dad will sit down and just like over dinner and talk about like different, you know, okay, what were we doing this time last year? And we'll pull up our pictures and our notes and we'll go through that. And with angler now that is just, like I said before, it's all in one place. It's a comprehensive tool to do that job. And I love, I love a functional comprehensive tool. Yeah, There's a tool for every job. 
and angler has created a tool for logging fish catching uh, logging waypoints logging baits all that kind of stuff yeah. so and i've and i've tried other apps and i'm not going to bash them but this has been the easiest one for me to use, to, to use. it's not complicated it does take there is a learning curve you do have to get into it and mess around with it and make mistakes with it and just freaking you know it, there's a reason why i turn my my bullseye around on the bottom of my bill because if it's up on the top i forget if i get to hit i forget to hit the button there's a lot of these little details you got to learn on your own but it's easier than any of the other apps that i've tried. well ultimately i mean we are changing the way that we fish and changing our oh, habits yeah, and and we're creatures of habit and that's one of the and it's one of those things that we're we're having to kind of change what we're doing but um, you know, I think not only is is or is it something that we're going to be able to learn from, but we're going to be able to teach so much more. Yep. You know, which is you know what Gene's all about. So yeah, when they said that this was that, that their their whole goal was to change the way people learn how to fish and to tra change the way that 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 uh, people can teach each other how to fish, I was in. That was what sold yeah. me. I didn't care about a button. I didn't care about making money. I didn't care about nothing. It was just a simple fact that this is another way for me to teach you guys how to fish. Uh, we got a, we got a question over here talking about the the but the the battery life. These have got a built in. and I don't know enough of the specs, but I know that the, for, they got a built in. They've got a built in battery. That's not something that you can change out. Uh, they're good for two years. Um, and as far as it cutting itself on and off, when you log into the app and set your point, you'll connect your you'll connect your bullseye by a simple click, and it Bluetooths to your phone. Um, and then when you end that trip before you get off the before you get uh, before you get off the water you should end your trip unless you're like me today and your phone died on you and you didn't end your trip until like seven hours later and you don't had dinner and this and that so now my trip shows where we went to eat my trip shows that we got back to the hotel room and all that good stuff but uh, but that's what you want to do when you and when you disconnect and you end your trip your 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 bullseye will shut itself down so you're not wasting battery life. Um, at the end of two years, guys, the bullseyes are, it's I think, 20 30 bucks, bucks, 30 yeah. bucks. But yeah, at the end of two so years, you got your money yeah, worth. So that's two questions that I saw several times. Price point, twenty nine ninety nine, so $30. Yep. And yeah. then uh, someone asked, is it private? So every trip is private unless you decide to make it public. But by default, every single trip is private, so you don't have to worry about your juice spots getting uh, blown out by anybody. So... Yeah, and that was something that was just added is the the share to public feature. So we we understand that wealth people want all their stuff private. Some people want to be sharing things. So we wanted to give people the option of public profiles, which is what we just yeah. just launched, which is the, the angler.com slash username. So, um, so the whole it. point of that is you can just share specific waypoints if you want, specific catches. You don't have to share a whole trip, you know. You caught a really massive fish and just want to show and that And you can off. share them with your buddies. You can yeah. email your buddies. Yep. That. You, you don't have to make it public. You can share it with your friends. Yeah, so well, you totally choose the level. Guys, we had dinner tonight right. with Taylor Cox up at the up at the Chinese restaurant tonight, and, and she fishes in the on, in the college series. And and one of the things, you know, that, that, that the college uh, anglers and, and, the, and some of the high school anglers are starting to do is that when they go practice for a tournament, they can all take these, take these, uh, set, take this app with them and these bullseyes and if they take you know if they send out 10 boats on the water they can they can get back together and be sharing live what they're doing and what the work conditions are at different points of this lake guys we were on chickamauga today this is a huge yeah. huge body of water almost, absolutely impossible to cover it all in a day or in a weekend or probably in a week to really be thorough with it um but if you know but if you guys are practicing if you guys have got a whole team coming up here and you got you know eight or ten boats out you can strategically place people on different bodies of water and I, yeah, I would have to imagine that would be the way to find fish. Yeah, and share trips between teams. It's <coughs> yep. It's a great way for a team to get to break down a whole body of water, no problem. Let's see what we. Uh, they're talking Thanks about. Thanks for hopping on, Brian. Appreciate you. Uh, it's talking about some of the. What they're using. Sean Ryan using your phones, not tablet. Yeah, that's something they're talking Another about. Another cool feature that we just included is you can now import points from your from your uh, graphs and so like if you want to take if you want to take a gpx point if you have that gpx file you can now put it into the angler app so that's something that we just added on that a lot of people have been asking for we're working on doing it the reverse way getting the app to put into the graphs which is probably second most requested thing or the most yeah. requested thing but it's all in the works we got a lot of things coming yeah yeah one guy asked is, is there is there a way is there a way to follow folks like Gene? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Yeah, so you just have to follow. You're going to follow his profile. It's angler.com slash flukemaster. And yeah. whenever he wants to, he's going to share his 
trips, so it's not going to be necessarily live yet. That's a feature that we're working on. Yeah, that's what I'm begging for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's going to be able to share points well on the water. So say he catches a fish, he can immediately hit share to profile. Yeah. So it's it's close, pretty close to live right now. It's just not an actual live tracking. Yep. Um, yeah. What I want is at the beginning of the day, say, share, going live. and it just stays shared all day so you guys can pretty much the only problem you're gonna have there is, is stalk that, me yeah it's, it's the ones that stalk you the ones that go get in the boat and then come out on the water it's kind of like going to the bass pro like if you guys have never a a hide and go see if you guys have never had the opportunity to walk in a bass pro shop with gene jensen it like we get 10 feet and then it's like okay okay let's go 10 feet here you gotta take a picture you gotta sign this you gotta sign that whatever it, it's it's like walking around you know with with uh you know with a with a rock yeah. star over here but anyway and mark cantrell uh made, made a good comment he said check your uh local tournament regs and make sure it's legal first to share between team members and that kind of stuff share yeah. while you're on the, on the so water. for the most part any college series it's as long as you're not fishing with a guide yeah um you can share information up to the day of the tournament so I know, I know college-wise, I fished FLW. That's at least how, how that worked there. I'm not sure about other series, so definitely. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, yeah. definitely be smart and check it, but I, I don't think it's. Yeah. Um, but it's for all, but for gearing up for your big tournament or for doing anything on those lines, you know, for practicing, for just like you said, guys, for remembering things, this is uh this is definitely definitely the way to go. But um, I uh, unless we got uh, any kind of more questions, you guys want to kind of put a put a put a wrap on this game. It's been a long day for all of us. Alex, man, I know uh, we wish you were still here and we wish you were fishing tomorrow, but uh, it it is what it is. We'll, we'll make the next trip. Uh, we'll make the next trip tr soon. We've had we've all had a good time the last couple of days. These kids are getting back out on the water again tomorrow. Um, I've got to get back to work. Alex has got to has got to get his uh, truck back tomorrow. Hopefully, working and running right. Yeah. Um, I'm excited tomorrow night to hop online and see what you guys do tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be sharing our trips tomorrow. So whatever we do on the water tomorrow. Make sure you guys check the profiles, and you'll uh, you'll get a good idea of where we were, actually exactly where we were, and what we caught. Yeah, we're gonna be in the same area. So anybody want to come out to the lake and brave the the cold weather, come out and say hi. So I know that uh, uh, Mikey Balls Fishing is out on the lake somewhere today too. I didn't go see him, but Maybe we'll to pretty awesome. Around. So before we go, if you guys aren't subscribed to Alex Rudd Fishing, R U D D Fishing, uh, yep. subscribe to his channel um and uh then we got what's your channel my channel is life outdoors yep life outdoors scott butcher just my channel is not important he's not yeah. i'm just a background guy it's okay my yeah, feelings aren't hurt i don't have a lot of pride when he, you look like this you don't get to have pride he's just my cameraman <laughs> just the cameraman <laughs> <laughs> but anyway thanks for joining us guys and uh like i always say be sure to introduce somebody to fishing introduce them to my channel let me help you teach them how to fish more importantly get out in the water go out and catch some fish and have an awesome evening. Have a good Thanksgiving if I don't see you then. And that will be a Friday Night Live this week. Definitely. Black Friday Night Live. Black oh, Friday Night Live. Black Friday Night Live. I'm going Twist. jet black in that one, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. I might have to wear my black We might need to get some giveaways. Yeah, like, maybe let me put together. On. Let me see if I can put together some giveaways. Let's see if we can do something big for that. Yeah. Later, guys. Holla. Thanks again, Alex. See you guys. Holla. I hope you guys enjoyed that live episode. Let me know if you'd like to see more episodes like that. I know that the sound quality can get a little questionable at times, so obviously that's something we're going to be working on in the future. Thanks again for listening, and as always, catch you next week. Fishing Intelligence, a fishing improvement podcast for the modern angler.